So we wanted to get a different perspective, and we kind of drug Tammy kicking and screaming into this. So I'm actually doing a rare video appearance, and I am going to ask Tammy what she thinks about the Green Movement in Indianapolis, um, more specifically, what is going on that you feel is good, and what does it need to um, keep the momentum going to make it better? Wow, that's a big question. Um, I'm excited about people's increased awareness. Okay. And when I first moved here five years ago, people didn't seem to know how to spell recycle in Indianapolis. Three R's. <laughs> and the three R's were reading, writing, and arithmetic. <laughs> so I'm excited that people are, are starting to, to understand the need to be aware of the environment and, and really want to participate. They want to learn how to recycle. They want to learn how to be, live a more sustainable life. And I think that's it's really encouraging. Um, I just heard uh, too on the news that you, um, I believe it's you guys, but they are doing recycle bins in the uh, cultural districts. Uh, right now, NASF has them, mm -hmm. um, and they incorporated an architect to do that. Was that uh, an artist? An art, artist. Okay. Mm -hmm. Was that you guys? Uh, KID applied for the IDEM grant, okay. and so helped the Merchants Association, the NASF Merchants Association, put that together. And where so, else? Where else will we see those popping up? The city's um, got a program called Reart Formation, mm -hmm. and they just recently put out a call for um, artists to per, to uh, build recycling bins for math or for Bradford. So there's going to be seven bins installed at the first of the year, and then they'll be looking for another eight uh, artists to submit ideas on, on using recyclable materials to make pedestrian recycling bins. Awesome. For Good job. Thanks.